Well, hi, Stampin' Friends. It's Leslie from Loving and Paper. Somewhere I have my Loving and Paper piece of paper. But I don't know where it is. Anyway, get that May special under the camera. And, oh, there's my Loving and Paper. That's me. It is me. So, um, I do have a host coat for May, and there's still lots of goodies on the, um, there, let's do it this way. There's still lots of great things on the retirement list, and, um, sort of unintentionally, <laughs> It was an accident. I didn't mean to hold out on you. There is actually new catalog product that you can order right now. And I'm going to be using some of it tonight. And I'm going to show you all of the parts of the suite. Or most of them anyway. So the thing that you can order is called the Ornate Garden Suite. Okay, there's lots of good product that comes with the suite you can get little bits and parts i don't think right now you can use the one order number i do love that the suites in the catalog have that you one item number one price you get the whole shoot and match um i love that that's an option but i don't think it's an option right now because i think one of the sets of um framelits or borders um I think our, uh, I think one set of the dies is unorderable right now. It's on back order. Um, so what we have, the parts of that that we have, there's two bundles actually. There's a bundle with a thank you set, um, and you can see there's a big thanks, uh, a a big thank you, and a so grateful, and then lots of little little things so you could say thanks for everything or seriously thank you or um thank you from all of us or you know you can mix and match and that particular um stamp set is a photopolymer so it makes um lining them up really really easy okay now they are paired with and bundled with these border dies now these are the ones that are on back order i am still waiting for mine they're not here yet um, but that's okay. So the other stamps, oh, and there's beautiful designer series paper that I do have, and I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to use it on my project tonight. So the other, um, stamp set is this, um, floral stamp set with this cute, I don't even know what to call it, and this cute little corner. Um, I love those. Okay. Um, this is just beautiful. You can color parts. You can color all of it. Um, a daisy. I am partial to daisies always. Um, and these gorgeous, gorgeous um, frames that you could then um, layer. You could use one and then put a, a white layer in between. You could do all kinds of stuff. Those, I think, are... St that bundle, I think, is still orderable um, because these ornate layers dies are still available okay um there's also a really fun embossing folder there's a great ribbon pack and these really pretty gilded gems and i don't know if i'll be able to sneak those onto my project or not um so anyway um just know still that you can do the the spread sunshine give back Okay, so that PDF is still available. And sort of in conjunction with that, I wanted to tell you about Stampin' Up's Day of Service. So next week on Thursday at 2 o'clock Mountain Time, which is 4 o'clock here in the Eastern Time Zone, Stampin' Up is going to be doing their Day of Service. Now, usually it's just something that they do in their own um, space, okay? They, they have their um, 
employees and whatever, and their day of service is, is for them. But Sarah Douglas, who is the CEO and Shelley's daughter, um, decided that it might be really fun to do it as a live because, um, as a live video. So she is going to stream it, um, through Facebook live on her personal or her, I guess on her Sarah Douglas CEO, Stampin' Up! CEO page. And I can get you that link um, and share it with you if you would like. Um, or I think you can search. I think it's a, a public page. Anyway, she is going to be working. And they have given or are going to be giving employees product so that they can make cards. So I think... The way uh, Sarah had it laid out. Anyway, I think her thing, whatever they're doing, they're making 20 cards, I think. I think she suggested having 20 card bases. But I can't remember. At any rate, um, so here's kind of what you need. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need your card bases. You need some designer series paper, and she's got a cut map. And um, then they'll be using the um, Spread Sunshine um, PDF. So they'll be adding greetings. And then if you want to add shapes or washi tape or anything else, ribbon, anything else to those cards, you can. Okay, you can step them up any way you want. Anyway, I say that because you might... Um, want to consider playing along next Thursday afternoon. I know I'm going to join them, um, especially since it's not a day that I'm doing my own live. Um, and so for those of you that would like to join in another crafting time, um, I thought I would like to let you know about it so that you could um, join in if you chose. Um, so I will try and make sure I, I put the link to her the post that has the PDF and all of that stuff um, available for you. Okay, so let's get to that beautiful designer series paper. Remember I told you that I had it? Okay, so let's start with the pile. So here's the embossing folder. I know it's hard to see there, but maybe you can see it's little flowers. Can you see that? I'm going to stand up and see if I'm anywhere close. Oh, that's not too bad. So now maybe you can see that cool folder. So that's available to order right now. Here's those beautiful frames. Aren't they pretty? I haven't even taken them off the, the cardboard. They come on and put them on my magnet stuff that I usually do. I gotta go get that at the studio. All right. Oh, here's the pretty gilded gems. Let me just pop them out of here because the glare off the cellophane is probably going to make it hard for you to see how gorgeous they are. So let's pop those out of there. Look at that! And they do have depth to them. Okay. And you have a pretty big range of sizes from pretty small to pretty large. Okay, so small. So three rows of small, three rows of medium, three rows of large. Okay. They would make great flower centers, lots of fun things I can see doing with those. Okay, let's tuck those back in. And they are self-adhesive, those particular gems, just like our regular gems. Okay, those are my parts for today. Here's the two stamp sets. Okay, the ornate style with the really pretty floral images and stuff is a cling stamp. Okay. Oh, and you know how I've been telling you guys the tip that I've been giving you is to take these this extra little bit and cut it off and save it and, and attach it to those cling stamps that or the clear mount stamps that we used to have that the labels didn't stick very well. Um, spoiler alert, you're not going to have to do that anymore. <laughs> um, in the new catalog, there are... Um, sheets of the cling material that you can use um, and cut to whatever size you need. So, yay. Um, all right, so let's pull over the designer series paper because it's so 
pretty. And some of the sheets have some gold foiling to them. Okay, so here's the sheet that I'm going to use tonight. I already cut some off. And there's the back. Nice geometric pattern. Okay. Let's go with this one. Look at that. So pretty. And just a nice green floral on the back. So not every page, uh, not every sheet has one side with the foiling. Just some of the sheets have it. Okay, let's see what what's next here. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, here's another floral. Wait a minute. Nope, that's the same floral. And then the one that I'm using. Okay, here's a new one. Here we go. There's one. Lots of little flowers with um, maybe pretty peacock in the background. Could be Bermuda Bay. Let me see if it says on the back. Mm. They're suggesting mint macaron, but I'm not 100% convinced that that's what that is. There's a foily sheet. See that? That's pretty. All right, let's pop that back in. Let's see what else we got here. I promise I'm going to get to our card here real quick. All right, ooh, that one's nice. I almost used this one tonight. Almost. And then the back is kind of reminiscent of that... Um, floral paper from uh, Celebration. Nice. Okay. A couple more. And then we'll keep going. Um, I will... Let's see. How will I get you that? I will... Hmm. I will need to put a link to that PDF of that folder, uh, that flyer, so you can see. That one's pretty. Reminds me of like um, not really pansy shaped flowers, but I'm not sure. Pretty though. And another foily one. Okay, and I think we're just about at the end. Let's pop this one back in where it goes. And here we are. This is the last one. Daisies and brown-eyed Susans, my two favorites. I love them. And then that small print with gold foil. Okay, so a couple of sheets with gold foiling. Really, really pretty. Um, so I've had this actually for a little while, and I've just been focusing on making sure you guys... You know, that I use product that you might have around, and I just totally forgot to introduce that to you. So, I'm very sorry about that. All right, so, I called this the diagonal split card, because I didn't really have another name for it. Um, which, you know, I don't know. So, I suggested that you're going to want a card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Okay. I've got stamp pads I didn't really clean up. I filmed videos yesterday for the um, four card class, and I did one for the under my umbrella class. Can you give you a sneak peek of that one? I did a bet, I did a wider frame so that the dimensionals don't show, but check this out. <laughs> so those of you that are doing the Under My Umbrella class, you're going to get to make one of these. Isn't that fun? <laughs> anyway, um, and if you didn't sign up for that class, you can still get the um, tutorials and video um, things. So if you need that, just let me know. All right, so this is going to go underneath, but I'm not going to glue it down just yet because this is where we're going to do our stamping okay and i don't want to have that glued just in case we have an oops 
I know you can't imagine that happening, but it could in fact happen. So let's grab, I should have done this before so you don't have to listen to my thing. We'll grab old olive. I think that will look good with those leaves. And we'll put our uh, thanks. You made my day. Let's do that. All right, so thanks. And let me find. Here it is. You made my day. Okay. And I'll show you how I'm going to get those onto the block where I want them in just a second. So right now they're just going to hang out there. And we're going to do a little cutting. I think I remember saying that you would want your um, trimmer. So let's just set everything else out of the way and grab the trimmer. And I, move, I put that there. Oh, I just heard the doorbell. That means my order's here. That was UPS. All right. So we've done a lot of cards. Now you'll notice this one isn't square. Okay, so we're not going to go corner to corner. And what your angle is doesn't really matter. Okay. You can have a steep angle you can have a gentle angle, whatever sort of floats your boat. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit steep on my angle. And I'm just going to cut that into two parts. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Don't freak out. Okay, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to smack you with the trimmer. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're gonna take those pieces. I know it would solve a lot of problems. Oh, by the way, this is that bumblebee. This is our new color, bumblebee. And this is bumblebee, ha <laughs> ha. So I get to use new cardstock, but that you can't get right now, but I can, you can get this designer series paper, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up putting these right along the edge like that and here is where your greeting is going to go so that's why i said you'll see how i how i do that i'm going to lay this right where i want it to be thanks Let's see if i can get it to i may have to do two i may have to line up the second one because of the little bit of extra around the stamps, I may not be able to quite get in where I want. Maybe I can. We'll see. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Whoops, if I can get it off of me. Have you ever noticed those photopolymers are a little sticky sometimes? There we go. Thanks. You made my day. Okay. So now that I know right where I want, how I want them arranged together, now I can pick them up at the same time. So now they're on the block in exactly the way I want them to go. All right. Now, if you're somebody that really needs to be sure about where you're stamping, you could put a teeny tiny pencil line or something. I'm just going to separate these a little bit. I'm going to grab our old olive ink pad and I'm going to shoot kind of for the middle of that opening. Okay. Like that. Get that nice and inky. And this is so hard because I don't want to smack my head on the camera and I don't want you guys seeing the back of my head so I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go all right I'll just give it some nice firm pressure for a second 
and pull it up. And hopefully it looks great when I move the paper back into position. Well, I'm not covering it, so that's a good thing. A little bit on the Y there. Not too bad, though. Uh, not bad. Yeah, it looks a little crooked. Maybe we'll put a little bow over there. Um, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's a handcrafted card, remember? It's okay. All right, so let's take that off. Let's put this on first. I could flip it over and try one more time, but you know what? If I'm thanking somebody for making my day, they darn well better not care that my card is just a little teeny bit crooked. I've said this before, you probably won't ever get another one if I hear complaints. So, just saying. All right, let's put our designer series paper. I know it almost seems bad to hide that side, but we'll do something with that next time. Okay. All right. Sometimes it's easier for me to when I'm going to try and line up a corner or a side like that. So for some reason, it's easier to do it horizontally like that. Okay, looks good. All right, let's get the other one in place. So a pretty quick card, which is nice. I like when they're quick. But again, just slicing that piece of designer series paper. And now that was four inches this way by four and a quarter tall. So not, not square. Um, and you just want enough that you can separate it and have a space for a greeting, okay? Um, so, now of course, I did not bring the ribbon in here. Let's see, what do I have? Do I have anything that'll work? Oh, well. Let's just do this. I maybe haven't shown you this, so let's try this. I've got some linen thread, which is my one of my favorites. And I'm gonna just try and straighten it out. At least it doesn't have kinks. At least it's just wiggles. And if you just kinda run it through your hands, you can get it pretty, pretty straight. Um, and before I cut it, I'm just going to give myself, I'm going to about double it, okay? And then I'm going to do my sort of famous, <laughs> I show you guys this at the studio all the time, my double bunny ear, okay? So you get the two bunny ears, so you make one, and then you make another one, and then you do just like you're tying your shoes, and then you wiggle it around, okay? Now, the, the big trick is not to think this is one of your bow loops, okay? <laughs> because that would be bad. You would untie it if you pulled that. All right, so let's get our loops a little free from each other here. So we're just gonna have a double bow. So now I'm gonna pull this as though it were one and shrink that one and we're just going to play with those a little bit until they're the size I kind of want and then I'm going to tighten it up and then do another little shrink here like that okay and then we're just going to chop those off I can always chop them a little so the cool part is that you only end up with that much waste because everything else is still on the, the spool. So that's why I like to try as hard as I can to tie my bows while they're still on there. Now the trick is, do I have, ah, there's the glue dots. They're hiding in that. I've got a little basket of all kinds of adhesives, dimensionals of different sizes and all of that good stuff. 
All right. So when I want to use a little bow like that, I kind of roll the glue dot. I don't know if I was off camera doing that so that I could see it. Anyway, I try and kind of roll it up a little bit and then add it to the back of my bow. And now the trick is to get it off the scissors. So if we put this bow up here, that may disguise a little bit the um, crookedness. So we'll just take a little bit more off. Whoop, a little bit more. I don't want it covering the... I need to get my snip sharpened or get a new pair for ribbon or something. There. So then we can just have that little bow over there and that kind of disguises the fact that it's not exactly straight. Anyway, it's all right. It's a pretty card. And um, maybe one of these days my UPS driver will find it because he pretty much always makes my day by showing up with new product. Um, <laughs> which means um, I have orders for a few people. So if you're somebody that um, ordered, then I probably have your order. Okay, so anyway, um, so there it is. Yeah, that was a pretty quick one. Even with the little ornate garden suite, how, how'd we do? Oh, not too bad. 25 minutes with the ornate garden um product plug um <laughs> sorry i do have to sort of shamelessly do that occasionally you guys because you know that's how i'm paying for the studio that we're not using right now anyway um <laughs> so i hope that those of you that um got the four card class um that that paid for it got your email this morning so you have the four card videos and you have the tutorial to help you through those i still have a couple of packets that people need to pick up um so if you need to make arrangements with me for that let me know um i don't currently have any more card packets to make up right now but if you decided that you really want to do the four cards um and i can show you what some of them are there was the golf card and let's see oh here they are the piggy and I'm not sure where the other one ended up Oh, right here. So these were the cards that were part of the four card class. Okay. Um, and like I said, I don't happen to have kits, but if the tutorials are something you are interested in, um, there it's $10 for the, the tutorial and the videos. And um, you could just substitute with any um, product that you happen to have. You could just cut your own paper the sizes are all in the tutorial um, what sizes you need okay so there's that back to the card we made today I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited about the day of service next Thursday uh, so a week from tomorrow um, feel free to get in touch with me if you want more information about that and also um, anything about the spread sunshine and our May host code. Okay. Um, so again, the products that I use tonight came from the ornate garden suite and it is going to be in the upcoming catalog. Um, my catalogs are coming tomorrow. Um, so I will be figuring out some days probably early next week, uh, maybe Monday and Tuesday or something like that, um, to do some meetups at the studio parking lot. So if you're local and you need to get your catalog, um, 
let's think about early next week. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, please message me and I would be happy to get one in the mail to you. Um, so I think that about does it for tonight. I would love to see what you create. So please share in the um, comments what your card ended up looking like because you might have used... Well, I know you would have used different designer series paper, but I love to see the co color combinations and all that kind of fun stuff. So please share in the comments. Um, and also, we will see you on Friday for a really fun card for Fun Friday at 5 o'clock. That's a lot of Fs. Fun Friday at 5. Okay. Hey, take care. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.